beloved family, friends, and honored guests. Robert and Vanessa are really happy together to share this special day with you. This important day marks the next milestone in their life. And with everyone present as a witness, to see them begin this journey. Good morning, my name is Mark. I am the groom's older brother, and his only, only older brother, and, <laughs> and the officiant for today's ceremony. And to begin, like all beginnings of life, uh, are our loving parents, who brought us into this world, watching us take our first steps, bringing us into this world, uh, listening to our first spoken words, watching us grow up, make friends, and most importantly, loving us unconditionally all our lives. Robert and Vanessa would like to take this opportunity to thank their parents and honor their parents for their deep appreciation and love. Without you, they wouldn't be here today. They are two people now with one path before them, and they are both grateful for the people and experiences that have shaped them and brought them to each other. Vanessa's mother, Yvonne, and Vanessa's father, Richard, have seen her grown up, and you've helped both of them and Vanessa develop and mature her into the person that she is today, and she loves you very, very deeply. Robert's mother, May, and Robert's father, Jack, have always been by his side to support him throughout his life and every stage of his life, and he is forever grateful for their love. Vanessa also wants to remember to take a remember uh, to take a moment to remember her grandmother Lillian, who is no longer with her with us here today. But Vanessa, you are very special to her, and ever since you were a young child, she took you on her travels, and she wanted you to experience the different experiences that no one else could ever have. And she knew that this would help you mature and help you be a better person. And through this, she wanted you to experience, experience life to the fullest. Often you were the only child among parents and adults at Chinese banquets and at annual, annual festivities. So she believes that these experiences would help you as you grow up. And your great aunt, who was very close to your grandmother, took the time to email you last week. And wanted you to know that your grandmother is watching you every day and will continue to pray for you throughout the rest of your life. And she loves you very much. Now in the history of mankind, we have long since attempted to define love. The love between two people that makes them want to spend the rest of their lives together. As early as the writings of the Bible, we have tried to define love as love is patient, love is kind, and love is all sorts of things. Now, Love has also been explored in songs, poems, and writings for the next very long decades. But sooner or later, we begin to understand love is more than verses on Valentine's or romance in the movies. We begin to know that love is here and now, among all of us, real and true. And the most important things in our lives is love. For love is the creator of our favorite memories, are the, and the most precious of them, and the foundation of our found, fondest dreams. And love is a promise 
that is always kept, a fortune that can never be spent, a seed that can flourish in even the most unlikely of places, and this radiance that never fades, this mysterious and magical joy, is the greatest treasure of them all, only known by those who love. And today, Robert and Vanessa have come to know and experience that love. On behalf of everyone here today, we congratulate you and we celebrate your love in this marriage. Next, we have a few words of blessing and a short prayer from our guest, Joseph Liu.